Alright, hello YouTube. I'm gonna be just taking a sort of live, unscripted look at uh, a new game that just came out, which is the Angry Video Game Nerd Adventures game. I played a little bit of this prior to the review just so I could sort of, you know, get a feel of it. And it, from what I've played, it really is really, really good. And like I said, live, unscripted, sort of first impressions, you know. Alright, let's get started. Of course, old school difficulty. Alright. A little intro. Wow, that's. That's interesting. <clears throat> Alright. So, as you can see, this is a. Uh, <laughs> This is a old retro style 8 bit uh, platformer game, sort of, you know, Metrovania. Um, it. I wouldn't recommend it for kids because there's a, quite a lot of swearing, and uh, some of the levels are really not appropriate for YouTube, so I can't show uh, the beat him and eat him stage. And the, and if any of you know uh, what that is, an old Atari uh, porno game, and that I, you know, we, we can't show on YouTube. But but most of the levels are sort of okay. Terrible. Uh, yeah, but this game really uh, takes a lot and you know, sort of. Honors a bunch of not just the, you know the AVGN, but a lot of oh crap, but a lot of the old uh, you know quote unquote crappy games and you know good games too, like the little Nagi Fairy, which is of course you know uh, Navi from. Which is, of course, Navi from Legend of Zelda. Now, there are a lot of power-ups, like, um... I think that was, like, Robot Jesus, or... The, I, don't, I don't even know what the hell that tank thing was. Um, the game glitch gremlin... Well, they're basically... Oh, damn it. <laughs> it's really hard to talk and play this at the same time. Yeah, I think it's... I think that's Robot Jesus, or Mecha Jesus. I, I, don't, I don't... I don't even know what that was supposed to be, but there's a glitch gremlin and, you know, really stupid rocks that just sort of arc over everything. Stage one. Yeah. So, there's a, um, it's really Metroid-like and give a level selection screen and, you know, they're all based on sort of video game cliches. So you have a haunted house, which is sort of based on the Halloween game. You have the uh, beat it and eat it, which I can't really show on YouTube, uh, but it's the uh, porno level. Um, Dungeons and Dick Holes, which is uh, sort of a D&D based thing. By Farts Consumed, which has a sort of a Doom feel to it. Um, Asylvania, which, uh, feels a lot like uh, Simon's Quest. Actually, this particular level, um, feels a lot like the Super Nintendo, uh, Castlevania game. A uh, Happy C Fun Candy Time, which, um, is weird. Really weird. Uh, Future Fuckballs 2010, which is a futuristic cliche level, and then there's Blizzard of Balls, which is a, uh, a classic winter-themed level. I've not gotten through the game yet, but you have to beat all of these uh, levels, like in um, uh, Mega Man, and then you get the final stage. Um, my understanding is there's also... Let's see, I've... Uh, I'll do this one. Thy Farts Consume. So, this is a uh, very... Crap. <laughs> 
I'm not great at this game, but I, I really do enjoy it. It really is a good game, and it gives you that old school Nintendo, you know, Nintendo level difficulty that really, oh, no, that if any of you have actually played Nintendo games, you know, it's uh, a sort of uh, hard, suicide, difficult, impossible, and then there's Nintendo. Here's a giant, uh, like, caco demon thing that spits the uh, turds. So, uh, so all the um, uh, sorry, it's really hard to talk in a play at the same time. It's um, all of the levels, you know, are really genuinely difficult, but not so difficult that you, you know, want to. Quit. Well, I mean, I've gotten frustrated numerous times to the point that I need to mm, put this down for a few minutes and go uh, do something else. Do something else for a few minutes to uh, calm down. Because this legitimately, uh, as a game, will frustrate you. But it's sort of that frustration that makes you want to keep going. Now, yeah, I could play on a lower difficulty, but I really like the old school feel because I, I grew up with an NES, and this is, uh... Oh, damn it. Yeah, this really just sort of reminds me of, you know, when I was little playing the NES and pretty much being humiliated by the games like uh, this one does. But it also has, you know, cameos uh, and appearances by characters, uh, AVGN uh, invented, such as there are uh, hidden sort of, sort of like unlockables, not really unlockables, but uh, secrets to find. And the secrets you find are um, the character he made up, uh, Shit Pickle. And you'll find Shit Pickle scattered throughout, um, throughout the levels in secret or hard to reach areas. And so the beer bottles are your health, and uh, the little AVGN heads are extra lives. Oh, I like this part. Pretty much, this is the reason I came to uh, this level. Yeah, you. Uh, yeah, you actually get to ride a giant lava fire shark thing and obliterate. Uh, yeah, this this this, this is insanity. But it's a sort of insanity that people love, always loved, and still love about NES games. Like that. <clears throat> well, your primary weapon is now. Is your uh, super or is your uh, NES zapper? You can get uh, uh, power-ups like this. Uh, any uh, Super Nintendo bazooka, bazooka thing. These are the rocks I was talking about earlier. These are terrible. And every time you, when you use it, uh, AB, you know, your character says this weapon sucks or makes a uh, random comp uh, uh, complaints about the weapon. There's uh, one of the shit pickles that I was talking about, and they're in harder to reach areas. You know, those sort of the collectibles. So I haven't really tried the uh, easier difficulties, just because I. Uh, I mean, this is really, really hard, but I. But I like it, like I said, because I grew up with it, I guess. So I haven't really tried the easier difficulties. They'll give you, you know, more lives, more continues. Uh, the easiest difficulty gives you infinite continues, and your weapon is more powerful. I think you get the orange uh, blaster, the orange uh, NES zapper for that. Oh. 
Um, these skull blocks, if you touch them, you die instantaneously. Go. Ah. Ah. It's one of those. Fail. It's one of those games that will make you sweat. Oh, that was stupid. Yeah, and then um, when you die, you'll have uh, AVGN uh, flipping you off and saying random uh, rude things to you about the game. Ah. Come on, come on. But the various power of scattered around the levels are generally... They're not necessary to progress per se, but they really... They don't... At least on the harder difficulty, I haven't played the other ones, but they don't give you anything, you know, if there's some kind of use for them. That was that Mecha Jesus power up and there's a lot of uh, fiery skulls or uh, lost souls or whatever you want to call them in this. They look like lost souls from Doom. Ah. And the control is, is really, the controls are really, really nice. I mean, it's, you know, the platforming is, ooh, crap, oh god, boss battle. <laughs> the, oh god. <laughs> the, the, I'm dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, the controls, the controls are really, um, they are really, you know, spot on good controls. Uh, it's... You know, the platforming you need to do, a lot of it can be pretty precise, but, you know, when you screw up, or when you die, you never feel like it's because, you know, the game... Oh. The game uh, has bad controls. It's your fault. Because the game gives you, um, you know, everything you need. Now, this is currently only available on Steam. It's, like... Two. Ah! It's like 15 bucks, something like that. It's, you know, it's very reasonably priced. It is, you know, it, and it really, you know, for 15 bucks, I've bought plenty of worse games than this. Uh, uh, um, right now, I'm using, uh, an uh, Xbox controller hooked up, uh, uh, hooked up to my PC to play this. Uh, uh, and personally, I think that's sort of the way to go. Uh, how did that not kill me? Oh. Uh, Personally, I think that's the way to go. It just sort of feels right when you have uh, a controller hooked. It just sort of feels a lot better when you have a controller hooked up to it. It it just sort of feels a lot better when you have a controller hooked up to it. Like you know, it was made for a controller, and you know that makes a lot of sense, being that it is meant to be an old retro-style game. AVGN song theme song playing in the back. Uh, yeah, I'm really terrible at this. So I mean, but even on the hardest difficulty setting, you're given ample uh, continues and uh, ample uh, everything really. All right, sorry about that. Just. Uh, Little bit of technical difficulty. Whoa! Actually, this anyway. But um, I've not actually. From other footage I've seen, though, uh, on the uh, you know that they released, 
and you can apparently unlock or find other um, members of the ABGN team. I've not actually found any of them yet. This game just unlocked, uh, like, for me at least, or at least I just noticed it was unlocked today. Uh, I've not actually had time to. Uh, ah. I have not actually had time to. What do I keep? I've not actually had time to uh, see them or find them, or, or maybe I'm just missing them. But they are apparently um, all playable characters from the trailers they showed. There was um, Mike, uh, the Bullshit Man. Um, who else? Ah. Who else? Let me see. Uh, ah. Kevin, the guitar guy. Y you know, there's pretty much all of the. Uh, characters from uh, their cast of uh, people. It is really hard. I'm sorry. It is really hard to talk and uh, do this at the same time. Ah! Well, I probably won't be able to show beating uh, a boss, but I probably will end up being able to show uh, dying horribly. And that's always a plus. And the uh, game over screen is a screen that you will become very familiar with oh. in this particular uh, game, especially if you're playing on the old school setting. Uh, another thing from the old school setting that some people may not like um, is that there is no uh, save feature. Um, of course, that's because you know, the old NES oh. games wouldn't let you. Anyway, so this is the uh, game over screen. You know, it says, you're dead, your friends are dead, your family's dead, your fucking pets are being skinned alive, your mom's a whore, you suck at life, the whole world hates you, you're going to hell, live with it. <laughs> it's very classy. Alright. So, I'm terrible at this game, and, you know, if I were to try and get all the way through this and show you the end, it would be, you know multiple, multiple, multiple hours of gameplay, but, you know, I'll give you a uh, sneak peek of all the levels. And this one was actually shown in the uh, gameplay trailers. This is the Castlevania level, and there's the uh, a likeness of the Medusa heads, those uh, floating whatever they are. Uh, and there's, in the background, the moon from uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Oh, blah. Uh, There we go. Oh, no! Ah. <sighs> so, apparently, the uh, checkpoints are not invisible on the easier difficulties, but they are on old school difficulty. Um, that's, I'm sort of okay with that. I don't really need it. See where the different... Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's move on to a different level. Uh, so, so yeah, instead of uh, continue or exit, there's a continue and fuck it. Exit level, yes. Um, let's see. So happy fun time Candyland thing. Is uh, it's interesting to say the least. It's yeah. I must have been on crack when we came up for this level. I think that pretty much sums it up in the best way possible. Now, yeah, this level the block. 
the blocks um, with the frown, frowny faces or whatever are traps. So you step on them and they kill you. But basically, it's the same formula no matter what level you end up on. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. Anyway, um, that's the Happy Candy Fun Time. This is the future fuckballs level where you have Rob the Robot, Jellyfish, and whatever. Now, while uh, AVGN in at least according to the text does not really agree if this is what the year 2010 looked like. I distinctly remember um, all of this stuff actually happening in 2020, uh, 2010. Um, and this is actually, you know, the reason the world ended in 2012 as well. There you go. I've actually... This is actually the only level I've uh, gone all the way through and beaten. Uh, yeah, see, the platform you need to do is pretty precise at points, especially in this level. But the controls are always, you know, good enough that you don't feel cheated or robbed or anything else. It feels, you know, they feel very tight, except in the, um, in parts of the, uh, ice level and the, uh, where there's, you know, ice on the ground and you slip and slide. And the, uh, beat em and eat em level, which you slip and slide because there's some other, um, unknown substance on the floor. Yeah. yeah. I can get a lot farther in this level than I can in the other ones. And the end boss of this level is the uh, face thing from... face thing from uh, Cybermorph. Why couldn't I think of that? Ow. Mm, this level has a lot of these very precise timing platforms that can ah, be pretty annoying. I think it's enough of this level, though. Uh, what else we got? Right. So this is the snow theme level, and there's a once you get to the ice area, it. It's, um, the controls are a little... <sighs> terrible. Uh, the controls are a little less, um, precise, but that's just because... Ah! But that's because they're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to be slipping and sliding on ice and not because they're, you know, bad or anything. So well, there's large snowmen smoking cigars. There you go. And uh, shitting reindeer and you do get to kill Santa Claus in this, which is always a good thing. I actually made it to the end of this level once and there's like the ghosts of Christmas Pass or whatever of the end boss. Ghost from the uh, Scrooge st ah, story thing. Uh, I cannot talk and actually do this at the same time. Anyway, we've seen this one. So, Dungeons and Vickles. This is sort of a high fantasy world um, with a trap reminiscent of uh, the uh, trap in. Uh, Pitfall 2. Ah. Mm. And there's a whole underground uh, section to this, and you need to find, in this particular one, keys to. Open. There we go, there's one of the doors. But you need to find keys to open doors to progress in this one. So every level sort of has its own, you know, little tweaks or gimmicks or mechanics that, you know, make it seem a little different from the other ones. But you're doing basically the same thing in each, each of them.
Oop, there we go. So, yeah, you passes over here and fail terribly. I am terrible at this. <laughs> All right. So then, the final level I'm actually going to be able to show is Fu, uh, the haunted house. Who dare and who dares enter Bimmy's world? And it's the hand from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger's hand. And I believe Bimmy is referencing uh, Street. Yeah, Invisible Platforms Ghost. I believe it's referencing Bimmy and Jimmy from the... Ah! Cheap. Some of the deaths are a little cheap. But it's all about... It's all about memorizing like all the old NES games were about. What was I talking about? Bimmy and Jimmy from the, uh, the one of the Street Oh, why am I so bad? One of the old Street Fighter games. So, yeah, that's uh, my quick sort of live uh, review slash first look at the new AVGN game. Uh, if you want to see more of the levels or more of it, then, uh, you know, you can grab it on Steam. It was only like 15 bucks. Uh, it, some people got the pre-order. It was like 10% off. You know, it's a couple bucks on Steam, and it really is totally worth it. No! Ah, oh, jeez, not this. I hit Spark. Um. Yes, yeah, so this is an invisible bridge platform thing. Ah! Uh, oh, all down here. Why? So, maybe, you know, if you actually want to get through the entire game, play it on an easier difficulty first, and then, you know, move on to uh, harder difficulties. Oh, blah. Anyway, that's my review of AVGN uh, Adventures game. So... Check it out and support AVG on Steam. It's only a couple bucks. So. Ah! Ah! Well, I think that about sums it up. It's all over. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, uh, ah. Ah. and see you next time.